Hello everyone, Amud here from the Target Com YouTube channel and today in this video we are going to learn another usage of Java Stream API. In the last video we learned how can we remove duplicate elements from a list using Java Stream API concepts and we have seen how it is easier to write cleaner code using Java Stream methods. So today we are going to learn another problem and we'll solve that using Java Stream. So we learn both the approaches means uh, without using Java Stream API and with using or uh, with the Java Stream API. So in this video, what we're going to learn, how can we filter? Suppose we have a list and uh, it might be a list of string or list of integer, whatever it is. So suppose we have a list of string and we have some values there. So based on some condition or conditions, you need to filter it out. Okay, like suppose if we have a Java string list, uh, sorry, a list of a string in which we have, uh, suppose, let me write uh, a statement here, which will help you to understand that one. So suppose we have a string, uh, sorry, we have a list of a string values, and suppose we have some values here, like Java, then uh, functional functional testing then automation testing okay suppose we have these values so what I need to do here I need to filter this list and I need to keep only those values which contains word testing here okay so this might be a general scenario where you get all the values from a drop down or the, you are setting up the values but you need to pick you need to uh, choose or you need to filter the list with like only the testing related concepts like function testing automation testing so after applying the filter we should get only two values from this list so this thing we are going to learn how can we use how can we achieve this using java stream and without java stream and then you decide which approach is easier so let me create a new class here and i will name it filter list using java stream so i will have i will create a main method so main method is here and then i will create a list here list of string and i will put uh, all subjects some meaningful name so let me import the list as well from here from java.util and i will use array class dot edge list in this i will add some subject names here like java then i will add uh, functional testing then I will add uh, performance testing I will add uh, selenium testing and I will add some mongodb okay so this we have a list here what I want to achieve here I need to filter this list and I, I want to keep only the elements which contains the word testing that is my filter condition so let me go with the normal approach in which i am not going to use any java stream concept and let me write some logic obviously we need to write the logic so simple logic will be like we need to iterate iterate this uh, uh, list and then for each element we need to check whether it contains the word testing or not so let me write that approach or logic so i am going to uh, I create it using the advanced for loop or for each loop all subjects and then what I need to do if because this will give me every element one by one so if element or le contains what testing okay testing then I need to uh, keep it so what I will do I will create one empty list so list of string and uh, all testing 
subjects okay this will be my empty list here array list and if this the current subject contains the word testing then add into this list okay so means we are filtering we are checking the condition and then i will add into this filter and what i'll do i will print before and after this out maybe all subjects i can put all subjects here okay and then i can print the list here and then i will simply copy paste it down below and all testing subjects and it will be my all testing subjects like logic is simple we have written some four five lines of code and it will give me all the values which contains the word testing so let me maximize the console and we can see we have the proper testing subject right it's expected so this is normal approach in which we have written some logic but let's see how it will be easier to um using the java stream api concept here so what i'm going to do here as we know that first uh, list of string we need to convert that to a stream right a stream of strings so for that we in the previous video we have done what we to use we need to use a stream method so what i'll do all subjects okay and then we have a stream right so this method will help you to convert the list of string to a stream of strings okay this is the first thing you need to do to use any intermediate or uh, terminator terminator methods of a stream so first thing you need to use a stream once you got the call this one you have so many methods here so many methods you have here so in this method this is called intermediate actions okay intermediate methods means you want to perform some actions that's why that's why it's called intermediate methods what i want to do i want to do filter okay filter so if you see a filter it takes some predicate okay which is the interface and uh, we'll learn about uh, the function interface later in this um, playlist but as of now this is one we have one method called filter okay and just ignore as of now predicate don't focus uh, more on that okay so what we need to do here in the filter you can understand we need to give one condition what condition we need to give we know that if the uh, element of if the subject contains the word testing that is our desired one that i want okay so here to give that condition so for that uh, if you remember in the last one right so we use the distinct and it solved all the problem right because we the the motto was killer like we want we don't want a duplicate element that's why use the distinct okay but here we using filter we need to see that what is the condition on which you want to filter because it cannot automatically filter right because we need to give the condition so that's why here we need to pass one predicate or that we can say condition so what is condition if my subject name contains over testing so for that you need to use lambda expression here for that that is very simple you need to mention ele or any variable name this is simply referring to the current element of the list or you can say that every element so first you will get this then you will get this then you will get this. so you are giving a name to it like like a string s equal to amud s is the variable name right same thing here you need to give one variable name which will current which will store the currently current element okay then use the lambda expression okay and we need to apply the condition what is the condition if the current element okay contains what the word testing okay what the uh, contains the word testing if it contains okay so this will give this statement will filter all the things okay it will give you the desired what we got here once you get that one we need to collect it back means from the stream of string we need to get it back to 
string list of a string so for that we have a method called collect which we have already seen the uh, previous video so collectors collectors it came from java stream to list okay and we can store into a new variable and i can put it like uh, one okay and let me print both the things here okay so this time this will be result will be this one so let me run this program and see if there is any difference in output so here the output and we can see functional testing performance testing and synonym testing and here also we have same thing so first the above approach is without your java stream api concept and second second part of the code contain with the java stream okay so if you see here here just the thing is from the previous video you just need to use another method called filter by the name only you can clear like okay what it is doing it is filtering it is responsible to filter something but to filter something we need to pass the condition and here we are passing the condition okay so this we are doing this we are achieving using java stream concepts and you can see this is much readable this is much readable and uh, a good way of writing the code as well let's uh, twist it a uh, little here suppose i want to add multiple conditions okay so suppose i want if the subject name contain testing and also it contains the word selenium okay so let me add one more statement here um, more subject and i will name it selenium uh, or only selenium okay so what is this time i need to achieve if the word contain testing or contains selenium okay then i need to have this so let me go and add one or operator simple thing you need to use pipe symbol okay and you can put le dot contains okay what selenium okay so let me run this program and let's see what is the output uh okay so what the difference here yeah you can see we got all the testing one okay and we got also selenium right this is we are using odd operator means if any condition is true we should have in to list okay so this is the way of using java stream api to filter any list there is no there is nothing wrong with this approach but this is more constructive and more readable and so we obviously we need to move from that type of coding to this type of coding whatever we can achieve using the java stream api so don't worry we are going to learn a lot of uh, we are going to see many examples which will really help you to understand java stream concept and its usage if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others and if you have any doubt please comment on this video thank you